Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. India, a country of more than a billion people. It's also one of our biggest markets for the bus pirate and other open hardware tools. We want to meet our fellow geeks and see the electronics markets that are virtually unknown to the rest of the world. Last time we braved the traffic in Mumbai to visit a mobile phone parts market. It makes sense, at least in India, to use as many as mobile parts available. And the Lamington Road wholesale market. Lamington Road, on the other hand, is the components location. You know, there are lots and lots of these small shops which stock all kinds of parts and components. This week we go to India's tech center, Bangalore. We meet up with a bunch of readers and hire this bus to take us to factories, markets, and open source hardware shops. We met up with a bunch of geeks at Jaga. Jaga is a co-work center that plays host to an occasional hacker space. This particular room, you know, uh, is used as a you know, sort of a meeting place um, in a shared workspace. There are a number of startups and small companies which rent out this space. The Jaga building is made of pallet racks and shelves. That seems like the perfect fit for the DIY creativity of a hacker space. They basically took a bunch of recycled material. Uh, a lot of them are like billboards, so you can see some like Japanese or you know text uh, out in the billboards there, and then the rest of it is like prefabricated, you know, the steel. After a walk through Jago, we pile into our trademark-free cartoon mystery-solving bus. SP Road is the Bangalore wholesale market. It's generally packed, but today's a holiday, so things are a bit quieter. This is called the Ayud Puja. So, uh, puja is a ritual or a ceremony, and ayud is a machine. Any you know, any kinds of machines like uh, or vehicles, yeah. you know, they are uh, decorated and uh, you know worshipped, and you know, so that they work well for the you know rest of uh, rest of the year. Is it all kinds of machines then? Yes. Mo uh, how about a pick and place machine? Oh yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest component shop. Uh, in SP Road, uh -huh. they sell all kinds of uh, parts for makers, hobbyists, and even industrial components. They've got all of their things out for display underneath glass on the table so you can kind of point to things and get it. And we picked up some of this flux already because we saw it and I'm a sucker for flux. Well, I got a couple of connectors but then they said that you know they can crimp it also. So I got the you know custom made cables. These are, it's quite easy to get your custom lens done. Like in Mumbai, we found an Indian homebrew Arduino. It's a free Duino made here in India. I got not six, not three yellow color LEDs for 50 pieces, and 50 pieces it costed INR 100. That is nearly USD two only. Yeah. So four, four cents for each LED only. Yeah. That's a good price. We're at another shop in SP Road, and we spotted a sign saying they sell the Seaduino, and they also give demos of it here, so you can learn how to use the Seaduino here. Next, we head over to NSK, an educational development board maker. This is the 805 development boards. Okay. We started from 805 and picked development boards, and AVR development boards, and ARM. 16-bit and 30-bit bank controllers. Okay. See, Espiro was basically popular in selling only components yeah. level, but he was the one who started with the grade of these microcontrollers and the circuit boards. Mm -hmm. So from there, uh, he is leading the market, starting with a small store, and it has grown up to a very big level today. So traditionally, people are supposed to buy it from uh, Sparkfun because you get all of them. Yeah. But to be very frank, he makes one of the best boards here when yeah. compared to Sparkfun. Yeah. And the cost is very less. Like, uh, you look at their uh, GSM modems and all, they are fantastic. Yeah. The GSM modems, the RFIDs, and uh, it's a good starting point for any, any hobbies to start with, right? Yeah. So. Sampad invites us upstairs to the assembly room. All their boards are assembled by hand, even the surface mount parts. Today they're assembling a board with a GSM modem. This is for Zigbee, breakout board, RS232 board. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the standard Zigbee module. Yeah, standard, yeah. The testing room is next door. They check out all the hardware before it ships. Full hardware testings. Mm -hmm. If there is any shards, we'll remove the shards. Mm -hmm. And full output will... On the way out, we spot this shop with reels, tubes, and rare parts. This particular whistle the air discontinued components which are difficult to get in the market. These electronic tubes, capacitors, diodes. So I found this uh, pretty cool looking uh, transistor. This is a, a defense uh, or mil military grade uh, transistor, gold plated uh, ceramic um, construction and it's made here in India. I've never seen anything like this so he's saying that this is a high frequency transistor 
use for things like you know radar, radars uh, or transmission. So this is one of my favorite shops yet. I just love walls of surface mount parts and he's got a really quality wall of resistors and capacitors in different sizes and values here. On the way out we take a few minutes to reflect on the SP market. This market is huge and cannot be finished in one day. You bought a lot of things. Yeah. So you bought a lot of stuff you liked. Yes. Okay. You, you've been to the market quite a few times yes, yes. and uh, you said today it's not very busy. Luckily we, we could find some of these part shops open. Yeah. yeah it was a good market. And Murli, how do you think it compares to Mumbai? Uh, it's way better. Uh, the, there's a wider variety of component selection. Uh, I could find power inductors here. I couldn't find in any place in Mumbai where I could get power inductors and they were like in stock. I think the quality is also better. The prices are a bit high but from what I understand the quality is better. And it is pretty cool that you know they will uh, make the cable for free. You just buy the wire and the connectors and they'll crimp it in for free. And I was uh, pretty impressed with the uh, selection of SMD parts and uh, you know a lot of microcontrollers also in some of the places. So it's pretty cool. Our next stop is Tenant Technotronics, an open source hardware designer and distributor. So this is uh, our uh, place where all the sales happens. So currently we distribute about 3,000 products in Nord. Okay, so this year we are planning to go about 35,000 or 36,000. So we are the distributors for Beagle Bolt, mm -hmm. Arduino, uh, Beagle Bone, mm -hmm. uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Panda Board, mm -hmm. whatever open source. So we are, we are starting up small, small offices in other states also. So there is one coming up in the US. Mm -hmm. So it's in the next month. Mm -hmm. So we have a small LLC that we are starting up there so that you can buy Indian components in the US. Okay. So these are workspaces where people work. And we have about 18 people working here. Pretty much people come here with a laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they work uh, almost round the clock. This, this place is almost open always. And uh, we work on all the weekends. So <laughs> that's how the culture is here. So yeah. um, This office is built all by itself and people have built it. So we don't take anybody's help to build these offices. So uh, programmers build their own office. So. Yeah. We have a video on YouTube that runs showing how, how to make tables, how to make uh, office spaces, how do you plan it in 3D, yeah. how do you put the lights on and uh, we have some demos today. So he's, he's trying to show you a flying quapter that you're uh, trying to build. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's built to do aerial photography mm -hmm. which is very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, this is some of the products that we have here that has been developed in-house internet. So if you see here this is a L298 breakout. Mm -hmm. that we use for uh, to drive uh, the motors, stepper motors as well as DC motors. And this is Moogly board. We, uh, it is instead of the IOIO board. You have the IOIO board, so it's just we have replicated it. as co We call it as Moogly board. It, it becomes very, it's a very low cost when we get it from SparkFun. That is the basic idea of replicating these boards. And this was our first board uh, that we developed as Dimilanove, Arduino Dimilanove. And uh, we have named it as uh, Tenet brand itself as called as Comet and this was the one which became very popular and made us very popular in Bangalore and this is Leonardo, this is the latest version. Day 2. We meet up with everyone again and pile back into the bus. First stop, Proto Central, an open source hardware design shop and seed studio distributor. We make uh, all kinds of wireless sensors and all that for uh, for mainly the Indian defense and uh, we have some of those also here but uh, this Proto Central is a new initiative of ours uh, to bring open source hardware more into India and uh, we have started uh, distributing for Arduino, SparkFun and uh, some other companies, Seed Studio. So, so right now we are just distributing, hopefully we will start uh, selling something soon. This is one of our first boards that we are trying to make, this is our first prototype actually. So what we have done is we have taken a basic uh, Arduino and uh, added a motor driver and a Bluetooth module to it to make a complete Bluetooth uh, robot mm -hmm. kit out of this. Um, without any extra shields or anything like that. And we were asking about boards. Mm -hmm. So we just get these stencils, uh, laser cut stencils made from a company in Bombay. And uh, then we, we get these uh, PCBs also made separately. And then we send the stencil PCBs and the parts mm -hmm. uh, to the assembling company. They have pick and place machines and all that. So 
uh, they do the assembly for us so we don't do any assembly or anything just just basic uh, scientific instrumentation like reading from chemical sensors and all that it's it's really expensive and out of the reach of most of the students and all those people if we can uh, make a design for example for a potential stat or a chemical sensor and release it as open source um so that would really lower the barrier to entry so so I w- we were just looking at what area we can actually contribute in open source hardware because there is already so many contributions and we just don't want to just uh, clone another thing and just sell it over here so i think this is an area that i really want to get into after meeting with proto central we head over to cerebrotech for a tour of a professional pcb assembly line this is the starting process where we apply the solder paste on the pcbs for soldering purpose once this is done it goes to the pick and place machine okay. and after this process this goes to the next machine pick and place machine okay where all the components are uh, placed automated so this machine is programmed according to the customer's requirement according to the customer's uh, bill of material what sort of files can you accept have yeah. you heard of eagle cad Yeah. So you can use that as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So once this is over it goes to the next stage. Here the fine pitch IC supply. This is the second machine mm-hmm. for the IC setting like that. This is the passive components for transistor resistors and capacitors and things like that. And once this is done it goes to the reflow okay. where soldering happens. There is a inspection here. Then it passes through the reflow mm-hmm. and gets soldered. This is a seven zone uh, reflow oh, yeah. and it's uh, ROHS compliant yeah. and ROHS is also picking up in India mm-hmm. and in one in India people are asking for ROHS nowadays yeah excellent that's a good uh, thing the final inspection they inspect all the 100% uh, PCBs assembled mm-hmm. if there are any minor uh, uh, corrections to be made that happens here okay and, and then it's gone going to the dispatch and then these are all boards waiting to go out yeah these are all ready for dispatch the bag of water leg of the trip was epic a huge thanks to everyone who joined us next week i head south to kochi on the final stop of the india geek tour we'll tour india's largest open source hardware distributor who many call the spark fun of india in india presently we are the number 1 as a domestic manufacturer thanks for watching see you next week